Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class 5 under 2 port networks, we are going to deal with edge parameters. So we are well aware about this 2 port circuit or 2 port network where the edge parameters are given by V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 and I2 is equal to H21 I1 plus H22 V2. In matrix form, V1 and I2 in terms of I1 and V2 are framed under edge parameters. So we are dealing with edge parameters and these are the parameters which we need to find. So how do we do that? Let us go with first example. We need to find out edge parameters which is shown in figure 1. There you can see there is a combination of passive elements in the form of resistors which is 1 ohm, 2 ohms, 2 ohms and 4 ohms. So the input side the parameters are V1, I1, output side the source parameters are V2, I2 and we need to find out edge parameters. So from the basic matrix form of H parameters, if at all I want to get the parameter H11 or H21, I have to short circuit the output port. So when the output port is short circuited, which indicates that the voltage of the output port is zero, then we are going to get V1 is equal to H11I1 and I2 is equal to H21 I1. So I'm going to take this figure 1 and I'm going to short circuit it making V2 is equal to 0 and we have source input voltage as V1 current I1 is flowing and this is shorted. So in fact the current which is I2 which is supposed to flow in this circuit it will present as it is. What is the value of current I2 we need to determine and since V2 is equal to 0, the same voltage applicable to 4 ohms. Hence, this 4 ohms becomes dummy in nature. In fact, this circuit changes to this circuit and the figure 1 will change to figure 1a. I hope you understood this step, how we have obtained figure 1 to figure 1a. Right. Now with this, Basic details when output port is short circuited, we need to determine H11, H21. For that, this 2 and 2 are in parallel, and 2 parallel to 2 will give you the value as 1 ohm. Hence, figure 1a can be changed to figure 1b. In fact, B1 is obtained in terms of I1 as V1 is equal to 2I1 and then I am going to get the value of H11 which is nothing but V1 by I1 by making output port voltage V2 is equal to 0 whose value is 2 ohms and hence the value of H11 is obtained to be 2 ohms. Why 2 ohms? Because Voltage by current is nothing but impedance and the unit of impedance is ohms. Fine. Let me treat this equation as 1 and let me find out the value of I2 in terms of I1. Now look at to the circuit shown in figure 1a. I2 can be obtained from current division rule. Current division rule states that I2 is equal to the total current that is I1 multiplied with opposite resistance for 2 ohms the opposite is 2 ohms so this is 2 in the numerator divided by sum of these parallel resistors that is 2 plus 2 and why minus because I2 it is flowing opposition to I1 that is why it is minus and hence I am going to get H21 is equal to I2 by I1 at V2 equal to 0 which will be equal to minus 1 by 2 and I2 by I1 it is known as gain so it, it doesn't have any units so H21 will be equal to minus 1 by 2. It's a current gain. In fact it will be treated as forward current gain. Fine. 
let us read this equation as 2 and let us find out the other parameters. For that, we have to open circuit the input port. So, from the figure 1, when input port is open circuited, the parameter which is connected to port 1, that is resistant, it goes off and hence we are left over with this part of the circuit. Where you are going to get V1 is equal to H1 to V2 and I2 is equal to H2 to V2. This we have applied. I1 is equal to 0 in these two equations and therefore we have obtained V1 in terms of V2, I2 in terms of V2. Now let me calculate the total equivalent of this circuit. I have 2 and 2 which are in series and this 2 and 2 that is 4 is in parallel with 4. Hence the R equivalent looking at from the output port side, I am going to get the value as 2 ohms and I am going to replace this circuit with 2 ohms in this fashion. I have V2, I have I2 flowing in the circuit and R equivalent of this circuit is changed to 2 ohms. I hope this step is clear. Therefore, we are going to get V2 is equal to 2I2. This we are going to treat equation as 3. Then, we have to also obtain the value of V1 in terms of I2. For that, V1 is the measurement of voltage across 2 ohms. In fact, we need to find out the value of current which is flowing in this 2 ohms that is I2 dash flowing in 2 ohms in series with 2 ohms. For that, we are going to get the value of V1 is equal to 2 I2 dash. I hope this step is also clear. Let me treat this equation as 4 and let us find out the value of I2 dash. Now from current division rule, I2 dash is equal to I2, that is the total current, multiplied with opposite resistance for this 2 and 2, the opposite is 4, so that is why here it is in 4, divided by sum of the parallel resistors, that is 2 plus 2 plus 4. In fact, I2 dash will be equal to I2 multiplied with 1 by 2. In fact, I2 dash is equal to I2 by 2. Here we have obtained the value of I2 dash as positive. Why positive? Because we have assumed the current which is flowing in these two ohms. It is in the same direction which is depending upon the output port current I2. So, the directions of these two currents are one and the same. That is why we have obtained here the positive current. In fact, I can obtain the value of V1 from equation 5 which is equal to 2I2 divided by 1 by 2. In fact, V1 is equal to I2 and this we are going to treat as equation 6. Now, with equations 3, 4, 5, 6, let us find out the value of H12 and H22. H12 will be equal to V1 by V2 at I1 is equal to 0. So, already we have obtained V1 which is equal to I2, V2 which is equal to 2I2. So, I am going to substitute the value of V1 and V2 and then I am going to get the value of H12 which is equal to 1 by 2. Since it is V1 by V2, it is a voltage gain. In fact, it is a reverse voltage gain. So, that is the value of H12. Let me treat this equation as 7. Then H22 is equal to I2 by V2 when input port is open circuited. With this, I am going to get the value as 1 by 2 Siemens or MOS. And hence, I am treating this particular value as equation 8. Now, I have 7 and 8, that is the value of H12 and H22. And I already have the value of H11 and H21. And hence, the value of H parameters are obtained as 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So, this is how we sort out the problems 
pertaining to H parameters. On the same basis, if the resistors are replaced by inductors and capacitors, how to solve the problem? So this is a Laplace form of a circuit where inductor is one Henry changed to one Siemens. Sorry, one. S that is a Laplace form of the inductor. Here also you have one Henry, so it becomes one S. This is not Siemens here. The Laplace form of time domain circuit for inductor for one Henry it changes to one S. That is S domain. And then you have the capacitors whose value is two by S and two by S. This is the given. Parameter for the circuit represented in Figure two. Now, for this, we need to find out the H parameters. Okay. So we know that the H parameters are given by these two standard equations, and when the output port is short circuited, that is, V two is made equal to zero, we are going to get H one one and H two one, and this is how the circuit changes from Figure two to Figure two a. When V two is equal to zero, this terminal will go off, and this is how the reduced circuit is obtained under Figure two a. Now, with this Figure two a, let us find out the value of the H parameters. So, I am finding out the first the R equivalent, looking at from input port side. So you have two by S parallel to S, and this combination is in series with two by S. Hence, it is written as two by S parallel to S plus two by S. So that is the R equivalent of figure two A. Let us obtain this value. So two by S parallel to S will be given you the value as two by S multiplied with S divided by two by S plus S and plus this. Two by s, which is already present in the equation, and this mathematics will give you the value of R equivalent, which is equal to four times s square plus one divided by s times s square plus two. In fact, v one is equal to this R equivalent times i one. So this is the value of v one in terms of i one with this h parameter. And I know that V1 is equal to H11 I1, and hence H11 V equal into 4 times S square plus 1 whole divided by S times S square plus 2. Now this is in terms of ohms, and let me treat this equation as 1. This is simple mathematics. You can follow, and you can easily derive the value of H11. Then. From current division rule, we know that I2 is equal to minus of I1 multiplied with opposite impedance that is S divided by the sum of these parallel impedances, whose value will be equal to minus I1 S multiplied uh, divided by S plus 2 by S, whose value will be equal to minus I1 S square by S square plus 2, and hence S21, which will be equal to I2 by I1. And on the whole, you are going to get the value of H21, which is equal to minus S square by S square plus 2. Let me treat this equation as 2. So we are done with H11, H21. Let us find out the value of H21 and H22. For that, we need to open circuit the input port by making I1 equal to 0. So this is how the figure two changes to figure two b when you make input port as equal to zero. The branch which was present here it is dummy in nature. That's why it is removed, and hence we are left over with figure two b. Now we can get v two in terms of i two with the help of R equivalent. So R equivalent will be equal to. Now you can see s is in series with. 2 by s and this combination is in parallel with s so this r equivalent will be equal to s times s square plus 
divided by 2 times s square plus 1. In fact, v2 is equal to this r equivalent times i2. Okay, and we need to get the value of v1 in terms of i2. For that, we have the standard relation i2 is equal to h2 to v2, which will give you the value of h2 to, that is a reciprocal of this value. Let us treat as this equation as 3. And as I told you, we need to find out V1. So from current division rule, I am going to get the value of I2 dash because V1 will be equal to S multiplied with I2 dash. So I2 dash is equal to this value, that is I2, that is the total current multiplied with the opposite impedance divided by the sum of the parallel impedances whose value will be equal to I2 s square divided by 2s square plus 2 and I have v1 is equal to s i2 dash so I'm going to substitute the value so I'm going to get the value of v1 in terms of i2. So let us frame these equations in a proper way. So we know that h12 is equal to v1 by v2 at i1 is equal to 0, v1 is this value and v2 is this value. Just divide v1 by v2 to get the value of h12. So here v1 is substituted, v2 is substituted and remove the like terms. So s i2, s i2 is removed, then equation is framed as s square by 2 times of s square plus 1 divided by this value. So remove the like terms, 1 by 2, 1 time, 1 by 2 goes off, s square plus 1, s square plus 1 goes off and hence I will be left over with h12 which will be equal to s square by s square plus 2. Since it's a voltage gain, it doesn't have any units. Let me treat this equation as 4. Finally, for this particular circuit, I have obtained the H parameters which is equal to 4 S square plus 1 divided by S into S square plus 2 H12 whose value is S square by S square plus 2 and H21 whose value is minus s square by s square plus 2 and h22 whose value is s square plus 1 by s times of s square plus 2. So this is how we obtain the h parameters for different passive elements. I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.